Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to my vlog. Um, just probably sit in the middle here, huh? Um, been having a tough time staying awake again today. Uh, I attribute that to still being on the Seroquel. Um, just trying to drink coffee to stay awake. I got somewhere to go in a little bit, so I need to be awake. I can't just sleep the day away, which even if I didn't have to go anywhere, I wouldn't want to sleep the day away because then I feel like I wasted a day. But this medicine's no joke. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I've been sleeping on and off, like taking a little like naps here and there. But um, I, I did eat. I made some. I made some food because um, my stomach was screwed up earlier. It's okay now, so I figured I'd make something. I had fish sandwiches. Um, what else is going on? Not really much going on at all, actually. Um, just gonna be another quick vlog. Um, I was going to. I was thinking about going to the Italian Festa vlog, but. I don't, know, I don't feel like driving out there and dealing with all all the people. It's too much commotion for me. Um, although it would have made for some good vlogging, but you know, there'll be other events that I can uh, I can go vlog at. Um, so yeah, nothing really going on. Um, Aaron will be back tomorrow, so you'll get to see him and I doing some random stuff. What will what we're gonna do? I don't know. Uh, we haven't really talked. I should probably get a hold of him soon today to see what the plan is for tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I've just been sitting here watching like Ancient, ancient Aliens and uh, some show called Found. Um, Found is like a show about people who have these, you know, artifacts and they try to date them and see how far back they go. If they're, if they're like legit or if they're just like rep... Uh, reproductions of something. Um, so it's interesting. I like watching stuff about history. Um, oh, and the moving thing. Still on the fence about it. I heard two conflicting stories. Um, one From one person I heard that there's no available apartments and there's a possible two-year wait list, but then I know somebody who lives at the apartment they said there's two apartments open right now. So, but, um, I, so I don't know what to believe. I think I'm going to call them tomorrow and see what the deal is. And, um, and then go from there. I really don't want to live in West Seneca. But I feel like people are pushing me to move out there. And I don't like that either. Um, I understand it could be a better place for me. Because there's, you know, a lot of stuff is on site. I wouldn't have to wait until I have an appointment or whatever. But, um... I just, I don't want to leave Tonawanda, so, and, you know, rent may, might be more for me there, if rent as it stands, um, for now, at this place in West Seneca, for one bedroom is 600 a month, which is more than I can afford, um, unfortunately. Speaking of Aaron, he just texted me. Let me see what he said. I was just talking about him. Hang on a sec, my phone's acting up. Probably some craziest wings. Oh, he just sent me a link to something. Um, but it's funny, I was just talking about him. He texted me. Um, but yeah, today I'm having, um, I think, uh, I don't know if you guys have, how closely you've been following my, my vlog or whatever, but, um, I'm having some of that akathisia happening again, and what that is, is, it's like restless leg syndrome, but for your whole body, so my whole body I feel restless, like I have to keep moving and stuff like that, and it's very hard to sit still, and very hard to, like, lay down, or even sit, like, I have to keep moving, and, uh, the clonopin's not even helping with that. I was on a medication before for this called Cogentin. I mean, Cogentin worked really well, which I don't understand why my doctor took me off of it. I'm going to have to ask her next time I see her if she can put me back on Cogentin. Um, what else is there? Yeah, because this is annoying. Like, I've been drinking coffee to try to stay awake because of the Seroquel. I 
I'm taking clonopin for anxiety and for the akathisia. Um, <clears throat> the clonopin I can only attribute to anxiety for the most part, but I was wondering if there's a connection between my akathisia and my anxiety. But I think the akathisia is a side effect of um, one of my other medications. So, I mean, try to imagine just sitting there and feeling like you have to move all the time and you have to like just move, you can't sit still, your legs have to be doing something, your hands have to be doing something, your arms, everything. It's very annoying, it's very unsettling, it's hard to rest um, that way. Um, that's, that's one of the reasons why I am still up. Um, I was going to try and take a nap, but it's just not going to happen. Um, I, I don't know what to do. I'm waiting to hear back from a friend to see what time I should be over there. Um, he's obviously busy. Um, he said three to four, so I wanted to double check. I figure four would be better because I still got to get ready for the day. I know I've been I've been lounging around, trying to wake up, drinking some coffee. So I still got to take a shower yet. Um, that and um, what else is going on? Coffee's not helping all that much. Um, I might make some more. But then again, it's hot outside, and I don't really want to drink hot coffee when it's hot outside. Um, I mean, I guess I could always put ice in it and make, like, iced coffee or some, something like that. But um, So, yeah, I guess that's, that's pretty much it. Um, the big thing still is moving. And um, apparently these apartments... They come already furnished. That's what my friend told me. I don't know how true that is. Um, which, you know, I, uh, I have no issues with that as far as having a lack of. I have, I got all the furniture. I, I think I have too much furniture in my apartment because I got two computer desks right next to each other. I got a TV stand right here that I use for shelving. I've got my shelves over there. Well, you can see where I'm pointing. And um, I got the couch, I got end tables, so I, I just don't know, I guess I would have to bring it in, and, uh, excuse me, I feel like I'm going to throw up, um, I, I don't know if I cooked that fish long enough earlier, oh boy, but, um, excuse me, but anyhow, um, I can't forget what I was going to say. I don't know. I got to get ready for the day and uh, kind of nervous about going to my friend's house. Uh, that's a long story, but. Um, oh, and the girl I was seeing, she's uh, she kept texting me and she's, she's talking trash to me because I, I won't pay attention to her. And. Um, if she keeps it up, um, I'm going to go to the police because she is saying horrible things about me and, and, and the friend of mine, and uh, she's definitely crossing the line. And, um, you know, I told her I was going to block her number, and I blocked her number, but with my phone. There's like a special inbox where black messages go into, so if, even if you black somebody, you can still see what they say. Um, and that's how I found out she's still talking trash. Like, she's so stupid, like, she doesn't know that. I'm sure she doesn't know that there's a, a special inbox for black messages, but I told her I blacked her and she just keeps texting me. It's like, how dumb are you? Um, but, uh, yeah, she's saying some stuff that's pretty out of line. And, um,. Real ignorant comments. Um, show, she really showed what kind of person she is. She she's all upset because of because uh, I don't I I wasn't paying. She's too freaking needy. All right, that's what I'm trying to say. She's too needy. She's argumentative. She's passive aggressive. She fake cries just to get me to feel guilty. Um, so needless to say, I, I've stopped talking this in, to this individual for uh, a few days ago. Uh, that was the last time I spoke to her. Um, 
So it's, it's like what I was talking about the dating stuff earlier before. And now I gotta start the whole process over with somebody else. And, um, you know, that's just, I don't know. I think dating when you're in your 30s is tough. It's just that in between age where, like, people got their stuff together and then some people don't. Uh, I don't know. If I date somebody, I want them to be ar around my age. Um, th this girl that I, I was previously speaking of, she was five years older than me, but she acted like a kid. Um, like if I wasn't this close to her or like right on top of her, she would like, she'd like have to take a Xanax because she couldn't handle it. Like we, we'd sit at opposite ends of the couch and she would get all upset and everything. It's like, Jesus, calm down. I'm like right next to you. So, anyhow, um, sorry my nose itched. Um, but yeah, if she gives me any other, other trouble... Uh, with as far as texting me goes, if she makes comments about me on YouTube or on Facebook, I have her blocked on Facebook, but if she makes comments about me and s keeps sending text messages, I am absolutely going to go to the police and file a harassment charge um, because she doesn't seem to get it. Um, it's not something I want to do, um, but if it continues, and like I said, if she starts... starts um, Oh, my nose itches. She starts uh, making comments on my videos and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to go to the police. I might actually call them ahead of time anyways just to see if there's anything I can do about the, about her right now as far as harassment goes. Um, but uh, she'd be, it'd be wise of her to stop st stop like texting me and like and to not even think of making a comment on one of my videos because she could be in a lot of trouble real fast, that's all I'm going to say. Um, so anyways, on a more positive note, um, I get to see my friend today. Happy about that. Uh, the weather's nice. I know it's pretty hot outside, but it's, it's it seems like summer's going by quick. Like, it, Canal Fest is over today. <clears throat> Usually after that point, you know, things start get looking... Uh, I can't remember what I was going to say. I lost my train of thought. But once Canal Fest is coming and gone, then it's like, oh man, summer's getting closer to be o being over. So, you got to get outside while you can. Enjoy the weather, hot or not. Um, so, I think that's all I got to say for now. And, um, yeah, thank you. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.